Earlier this year, Leicester won a record 10th championship to establish them as the dominant English side of the professional era. An impressive achievement for a club that has also twice been crowned European champions. One constant through this success was Jordan Murphy. A playing career that spanned 16 years ended that day at Twickenham. Now a new chapter beckons. When I started playing, I had no interest whatsoever in coaching. I think, you know, probably a little bit like captaincy, the, the little bit older you get, the little bit more sort of influence you have when you're sort of calling the shots and when you're sort of dealing with the coaches, then you, you, you sort of think, yeah, maybe I could do this. The club, you know, very loyally have, have you know, asked me to stay around and, and um, it's a, you know, big job for me in, in that, you know, I've kind of got some experience of coaching, but obviously not at, at a high level as, as I'll be going into. So a little bit nerve wracking, but I'm, you know, excited about it and looking forward to it. Having spent the best part of 13 years with him, I'm pretty glad to see the back of him right now. But uh, he's, he's a, a, just a true one-off one player, really. Um, I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like his talent and, and ability with the ball, whether it's kicking it or catching it or passing it or whatever. I've just not seen anything like it. It's so easy for him. Um, it's, been, it's been great. I've had the best seat in the house to, to watch him play. Leicester's a big club with, with a lot of big names and, and a lot of good guys. Um, I'm very friendly with some of those guys at the moment. So, so that potentially could be a, you know, a, a tough thing to do. But you know, I'm, I'm you know friendly with them. You know, I've got to try and get you know my coaching aims across to them, and, and you know I'm, I'm going to be open-minded. And if you know they want to chat to me and, and, and they uh, you know give me some ideas, then you know I'll be more than happy to uh, yeah, take anything on board. Life could have been very different for Murphy had he pursued his talent for Gaelic football in his native Ireland. But after joining Leicester aged just 19, it wasn't long before the Dubliner enjoyed success at both club and international level. When I joined Leicester first, you know, sort of took me a year or two to, to break in as a regular into the first team. I suppose it wasn't until '99 that we, I, you know, broke in. Uh, and then at that stage, you know, we won four leagues back to back, and we won two Europeans in 2001 and 2002. And it just seemed that that's what rugby was about. He would surely have won many more caps, but for the competition from the likes of Gervin Dempsey and Rob Carney. I managed to play 72 times for Ireland, and in that I was competing against Gervin and Rob, who are both fantastic fullbacks in my, you know, in my eyes. And you know, I, I ne didn't ever really sort of moan about it. I just sort of got on with it. And when I didn't get picked, obviously it's frustrating because you want to be there playing for your country, and you know, it's something that you're, you're passionate about, and, and you know, you want to be there desperately. But you'll do anything to help the side win. His career was also interrupted by serious injury. You always have that little bit of self-doubt when you break a bone or you have your shoulder reconstructed or when you come out of hospital and you're sitting on your sofa and you're trying to get your, uh, you know, the swelling down. And I think, you know, the support staff at Leicester were very, very good to me over the years and the support staff at Ireland. And, and, and uh, um, you know, you just work towards it and you get through it. You know, you, you, you learn to walk again, you learn to jog again and, and you take it step by step. But I suppose that's the, the key to getting back fit. A step from player to coach isn't an easy one and relationships will inevitably have to change. A trip to Bermuda to help grassroots rugby, not a bad way to start, though. I think there's a lot to be said about being a good person and, and treating people with a lot of respect. Um, you know, I think it's important to do that as a coach. It's not often that great players go on to become great coaches, but I think geordie has got such a, uh, an innate understanding of the game. He's got such an appreciation of different styles of play, having played with, with a number of different coaches, both at club and country. It, he's got quite a, quite a, a broad spectrum of experience to, to bring to it. And, and also, he, he gets his points across pretty well, apart from the language barrier. Um, so, yeah, I think, I think he's got a, a bright future, that's for sure. To walk out at Welford Road and have the crowd just go, you know, electric and, and you know, people going crazy. Um, it's a huge honour. I mean, you know, I'll miss that. You know, I think, you know, if I was, if I, if I didn't miss that, you'd be, you'd be crazy. So, yeah, it's, it's one of those things, you know, I'll have to kind of live vicariously through other players now.